Hey everybody, Daniel with Preferred Air. If you have a rooftop unit and you want to do an indoor coil clean, here's a do-it-yourself, save you some money. This is some of the products I use. You can get these online. Some are scented, some are not. First thing, pull out the disconnect. Make sure the power is off to the unit. Next, we're going to head over to the indoor coil. The indoor coil is usually right next to the, if you're looking at the unit, left side of the unit, it's where the air comes into the unit right after your filter. This one here is a six-year-old unit. Uh, as you'll see, it's, it's pretty dirty. It's never been done. If you do a really good job on your filters, typically they'll stay clean, but after five, six years, they do need some cleaning. So I'm just gonna spray this guy, let it foam up. The foam is actually what removes the dirt. It expands, pushes the dirt out from in between those coils, just like a radiator. There's a bunch of tubes, a bunch of fins. Here's the final product. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. This is after about five minutes. It's starting to run down, starting to rinse. This, the cleaners are self-cleaning, but I'd like to help it a little bit since I'm, while I'm there, I'll just get a hose, put it on mist. As you can see it's starting to rinse, clean it off a little bit faster. Uh, I do wanna run it, make sure everything's working well on it before I leave. So I'll just rush it along here. Uh, if you still have some surface dirt, you can use a wire brush here. Just make sure you go up and down, not side to side. That'll damage the fins and will restrict airflow. So just straight down like that. And I did the whole coil. Cut to it here. There we go. Brand new coil, nice and clean. And while you're out here, you might as well rinse that outdoor coil. Just keep it light. Go over the whole thing from top to bottom. And unit should be working a lot better. Good luck.